So over the years, we've had a few revisions of Greenkeeper. So we're going to be talking about Greenkeeper V2. But if you see any references, any place to Greenkeeper V1, that is the old version. We are now on V2. You should be doing everything in V2. Um, in these videos, we're going to be talking about intro and best practices for Greenkeeper. So what is Greenkeeper? Well, um, in theory, it's just really a special version of GS Pro kind of stripped down. Um, and it's used to add very specific things to your course, and specifically your Unity build file, um, that allows us to add uh, golf-specific attributes and conditions and things like that to our course. So what does it do? Well, you use Greenkeeper to add information about your course. For example, the name of the course, the elevation of the course, um, uh, who made the course, the author, okay? That's some of the information you add. Um, you add your pins, okay, on your greens, so your pin placements. Um, you add your tees, so, you know, you made your tee boxes in, in Unity, but where they're located, you actually assign those inside of Greenkeeper. You define an out of bounds, it's a requirement, so you're gonna circle an out of bounds around the outside of your course. Um, you define that in Greenkeeper. You also define a splash screen. So a splash screen is when um, you're loading up a course or you're browsing courses and there's like that little screen that um, defines um, exactly, you know, it, almost like an advertisement. It might have your name on it, uh, the picture of the course, the name of the course, so the splash screen. Um, the default size for that, if you want to build it in its native resolution, is 1920 by 1080. Um, but this, the, the game will, sc uh, will scale it. Uh, as needed for you. Um, hazards, you define your hazards. Typically anything that's water, you want to put a hazard around it. Um, but you might have other hazards, like sometimes if I've got a Lynx course with really deep rough and if people hit it in there, if you're if you're going to be losing your ball, I mark it as a hazard. Um, and it controls how those hazards are presented in game. Um, course conditions, by default. So what, I should say your default course condition. So when someone loads up your game, how do you want to recommend they play it? Um, what stimp do you want them to recommend to play it at? Um, do you want it to be windy, breezy, no wind, right? What wind direction do you want? So those are the course conditions. And you're also going to decide uh, or assign the ratings and slopes for all of your tees. So, you know, whether it's a pro black tips or the par threes, you're going to assign your ratings and slope through Greenkeeper. So a lot of stuff we have to do inside of Greenkeeper. Um, the end result of Greenkeeper is a folder that contains a bunch of different files, okay? One of those files is the Unity 3D file um, that you just built inside of Unity. So when you do Unity and you build your course, that creates that Unity 3D file. Um, it also, Greenkeeper also creates a bunch of GK files. Uh, we'll look at those and what they are, but they're specific to Greenkeeper. That's also in that folder. Um, that folder must contain your splash image. It's also going to contain what we call a course info file. Um, it's going to contain your scorecard images. And ultimately, that folder is put inside of the course directory inside of GS Pro if you're loading it manually, or that folder is zipped up and sent um, to the SGT servers, the um, Dropbox servers, if you're going to be posting it for everybody else to play. Now, you might have noticed I have asterisks next to UD3 about Unity 3D file and GK files. That's because Unity has very specific, I shouldn't say Unity, this, this folder has very specific naming attributes and that that folder, the name of that folder must also match the name of your Unity 3D file and your Greenkeeper file. So if you edit any of those and change the names, you're gonna have some problems. We'll talk about that. Um, some requirements here are you must define an out of bounds. Okay, you have to define an out of bounds. Um, and that out of bounds should be outside of all your inner hazards. Okay. Um, also, good practices do not have your out of bounds or any hazards overlapping with each other. You can get mixed results from that. So make sure hazards do not overlap other hazards and out of bounds do not overlap hazards and vice versa. Um, you must have at least one hole defined in your Greenkeeper with pins and tees. So if you're just going through and you're doing one or two holes, just define the P's, the P's, <laughs> the pins and T's for those holes. You don't need to do define all 18 at this point. Uh, one or two is fine. You also need to define your splash screen. 
the native resolution for that is 1920 by 1080. But if you uh, create a different size, uh, GS Pro will scale it for you. But just keep in mind, if it's it might get lengthened or shrunken or compressed to make it look funny. So I try to always make it 1920 by 1080, which is the default. Common mistakes that we see people is not defining a splash screen, um, not having an out of bound defines, um, not having your splash screen within the course folder that you make, and also file name mismatches. So let me show you, um, let me go back here and let me actually show you what this looks like. So this is uh, a course folder, a directory. So here's my course folder, which is called Glacier Golf Club underscore GSP. And then in here, you can see a bunch of different files. I've got my course details files and course that's called course details. And in here, this just really has information about um, the scorecard, uh, the name, city, location. You can open up and look and look at that, but don't make any changes to it. Okay, this is generated by Greenkeeper. I've got the actual Greenkeeper Greenkeeper GKD file here. Okay, I've got my uh, Unity file here. This really large file that was what we built and uh, when we uh, built our course inside of Unity. So that is in there as well. There's a, uh, a CSV uh, a spreadsheet in here, which is also created by Greenkeeper. We have our two scorecards, which are created by Greenkeeper. And then we have these um, GKD underscore back. Every time you open up Greenkeeper, if there's an existing GKD in there, it makes a copy of it and saves it as a backup. So if you ever go into Greenkeeper and you do something, you're like, crap. Um, I shouldn't have done that. You can always come back here and rename these and go back to a previous version um, that you, you know, had saved before. Um, and their time stamps with a Unity timestamp. Um, and then I have my splash image in here as well. Notice that the name of my folder right here, that name of my folder perfectly matches the name of my GKD file. So that part of the GKD file right here, it matches that. It matches this first part of my Unity file. It matches the first part of this file. My first part of my scorecard here is that same name. And my splash image in this course detail file are the only ones that do not have to adhere to that. But everything else needs that same name in there. Very important, okay? Sorry, long video, but really important stuff for Greenkeeper. So one last thing in here, um, best practices for Greenkeeper. One is when you save inside Greenkeeper, um, hit save and just wait a few seconds. It's gonna cycle through, it's gonna save the GKD file, it's gonna save the uh, scorecard images, and then it's done. So just give it a second. Do not force close Greenkeeper or, or do anything else in there. Just let it save and finish, and then you're good. Um, if you ever wanna reset Greenkeeper back to the default, um, so you want to start from scratch. All you have to do is to delete that GK, that uh, GKD file, um, uh, in in the directory that with everything else. If you just uh, delete the GK file, then next time you start Greenkeeper, it'll be a blank slate. Again, remember you must create a splash image. Okay, you have to have a, a splash image. Um, that splash image must be in that same directory as your GKD files and your Unity files. And your G uh, Greenkeeper files and Unity files names must match your folder name, okay? By default, Greenkeeper does that for you. But if you go in there and you change anything um, and change those file names, you're going to run into problems, all right? On to the next video.